Hey guys, Luke here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how you can make a Fraps video smaller. So I'm just going to go and record a Fraps video. So I'm just going to open this and go to general and put off that. Okay, so. Actually, yeah, just keep on that. Okay, so in this top left hand corner, you can see the yellow numbers. So, I'm just going to go into Minecraft and I'll record a little clip of around 30 seconds. So, let's go. Okay, so here we are, we're recording and we've got the new redstone lamps down here. At the minute they're off and I've placed some redstone torches here and here's the switch push them up, the redstone powers the redstone torches will power them and they will turn on so the pistons underneath them are powering them ok so that's all we're going to record so let's stop there ok so you just saw us record a little clip so we close this and click OK and we open our movies we've got it right here if you see here it's 38 seconds but it's 271 megabytes so to make it smaller you need to download a program called Camtasia Studio 7 you wanna open it and you should get this I've got the 30 day trial so I haven't got the full version but if I just click finish I discard that so you should get this, just click close on this and then import media I click desktop movies and I open this folder so here it is, drag it down to video 1, place that in this pop up should come up and you want to drop it down to YouTube and HD click OK and then this is HD already because it's fraps of course it's going to be so much there, so this is what it looks like. Little lag. The audio was already on bad decam, so yeah. Uh, I've got a little cold, so I'll be sniffing quite a bit, but doesn't matter. So it's a nice HD video already. So we've got that. So now, because the audio is only the sound of the game, so. What we want to do is to zoom and pan and snap it to the edge. This doesn't really do anything, but that's how you make it full screen and widescreen. So we're just gonna add a introduction onto it. So you just go into library and choose one of the digital radius to the silver streak. And I've chosen the silver streak. And you'll see if you scroll down the timeline that there's text color. Double click that and edit it to what you want. Tutorial video. And then I've got a kick back here. I'm just going to delete that. Go back to clip bin where the clip is. And go to your... Where any of your music is. I'm going to have starry eyed. Here it is. Drop it down to audio 1 push it all the way up and then you wanna drag this all the way down now let's see how good this is at the beginning okay so yep looks pretty decent at the moment so yes so Sorry for the loud sound, I'll just turn that down. But yeah, so you've got that all done now. We're just going to double click here and go to zoom and pan. And we're going to snap to the video edge so it's full screen now. So, once you've done everything you want, I'm just going to show you how you actually produce it. And you can get it smaller. So click produce and share. And you want to have one, this is videos which is my thing. So go to add slash edit preset and you can create all that so you want it to be the dimensions you want 1280 by 720 and you want the format for it as windows media streaming media file which is WMV 
So click next and I just put tutorial video. And then click finish and this should start rendering it. So you see that this is going quite fast at the minute. This didn't go too fast but I'm going to pause the video while it's doing it so you don't have to wait all the long so remember it was 200 and something megabytes so if we go into here 271 megabytes keep that in your head okay so keep that in your head and it should be good okay so I'll be back in one moment okay so we're back and it's on 94.3 percent and it's still it's this has been since like three minutes since I paused the video and it's almost done and it usually does it quicker on the big files it actually took around 40 minutes to do a 67 megabyte video but as you can see it goes straight back in here so I just said this as tutorial so just close I just close it anyway keeps doing that but I'm not sure why so then go to start documents go to Camtasia studio and then here's the tutorial video it's only 26.1 megabytes but then I did have another clip that was 665 megabytes which is this one that I just uploaded to my channel today and this is only 19.9 megabytes and I did use tracks to record that too so here's the tutorial video only 26.1 megabytes so yeah hope you enjoyed this video hope it helped you a lot and i'll see you in the next video actually wait i'll just show you the how it looks when it's all done so everything we've already done is on here so what we did in the studio is on here so as you can see hd or around HD, not 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 yeah yeah can't speak, not lagging and uh, or anything like that. So yeah, it's good quality and everything. So you see everything that you wanna. Nothing that you can't really see. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hope this helped you a lot. Subscribe and bye.